And closing arguments are being delivered for the Boulder King Supers trial right now. It's been three years since 10 people were killed inside the grocery store. The 10 people who died that day included store employees, shoppers, and a Boulder police officer who responded to the scene. Your reporter Kennedy Cook tells us what we should expect. It's a big day here at the Boulder County Courthouse, and it's taken nearly three years to get to this point. Jurors will now have to decide if the gunman was sane or not during the time of the shooting. Over the course of this trial, mental health experts have been brought to the stand to examine the defendant. Did he show early signs of schizophrenia? How do cultural differences impact mental health and the stigma with seeking help? Family members of the defendant were also questioned by both sides. The gunman's younger brother, Mahmoud Alyssa, took the stand, sharing that his brother was, quote, very antisocial and that on the day of the shooting, his brother could not decipher right from wrong. It looked like to the point that he was incapable of making a sentence. So he wouldn't talk at all. And then when I would try to talk to him, he would mumble. Alyssa is facing multiple charges, including 10 counts of first degree murder, 38 counts of attempted murder, first degree assault, and six counts of using a large capacity magazine in a crime, plus multiple crimes of violence. In Boulder, I'm your reporter, Kennedy Cook, covering Colorado First. We have your reporters 